All right, I'm recording. Uh, today I'd like to talk about where I am in my uh, in my YouTube video making uh, pursuits, and uh, what I mean by this is, you know, uh, how am I making progress now? Now that I've been making YouTube videos uh, for about a year now, maybe a little bit more. Actually, it is a little bit more. I I started on uh, I think December 14, and this today is almost uh, February 14. So it's been about a year and two months, or year and one-fifth of a year so question is what progress have I made where am I now well I went through a very long phase and I'm still in it really and that is the uh, the equipment phase where I thought that the best way to be successful at you know making money at uh, you know uh, recording and posting YouTube videos would be to get the best possible equipment or to get some really neato interesting exciting equipment and what I would do then was, uh, you know, I figured that if I had the right equipment, then everything would just come naturally. I would be a success. But it turns out the equipment is just sort of a phase, you know, that you go through. Like, you would think maybe that equipment is just, you know, really important, but it isn't. You need some equipment that's true. You can't make a video without some video recording equipment. But the fact of the matter is you need to get into a different phase uh, and that phase is the video making phase. In other words, it goes all the way back to acting all over again. You know, you need to work on being an actor or announcer, news news announcer or commercial uh, announcer, uh, artist, whatever it is you want to call it, whatever area of you know video making you want to be in. You need to work on that talent, on developing those abilities, exercising your capabilities, practicing coming up with writing original content and you know delivering it uh, so so it isn't uh, to just you know focus on getting the best equipment and a variety of equipment and new interesting products that are equipment related is not really sufficient you need to have the ability to make good videos and in fact you can probably make good videos with just the minimum equipment you don't need a super camera and no matter how good of a camera you get you can always find eventually a better camera because new cameras are coming out you know from time to time maybe not every year but for the very best products but you you know you the average YouTube video maker are probably not going to be able to afford you know some super expensive equipment which you don't need anyway in the first place so that's where I am I have been in the equipment phase for I don't know how long now, you know, about a year. And I finally realized that I need to get out of that phase and I need to start focusing on my actual video delivery. You know, like I myself as an individual, as an actor or, you know, news anchor, reporter, whatever it is, however I'm going to be as somebody who's making these YouTube videos, uh, I need to focus on my presentation, on my delivery, you know it's not the equipment anymore for me I have spent so much money and so much time and effort uh, just learning about the equipment but the equipment won't do it the equipment has very little to do with making a good video of course you need some reasonable minimum standard of equipment but the fact is you don't really need the best equipment you can probably get a cheap camcorder I haven't bought this but there's one for like eighteen dollars in Walmart that records 720 pixel resolution video at 30 frames a second. I'd imagine if you were really good at this, you could probably make a good YouTube video that got a lot of views and made a lot of money with just that, with just an $18, uh, you know, uh, camcorder. Of course, you need batteries. This thing takes two or three AAA batteries. I don't remember which, but you can get a battery charger and some rechargeable AAA batteries, and you need an SD card. And uh, I think it comes with the cables, and you need a computer or something to put it on YouTube. But you don't need, you know, I wouldn't recommend necessarily getting the cheapest possible thing, but you probably don't need anything more than, I don't know, definitely you should not spend more than $100 if you don't feel like it. Uh, what you need to do, though, is work on your ability to make YouTube videos as an actor or news presenter or whatever it is you know, announcer, personality, talent, artist, whatever it is, that's what you need to work on. You also need to work on writing it because the uh, if you're doing this all alone, it's kind of difficult without other people because, you know, 
a lot of things are easier with other people. But you do have the independence of doing things your own way. But so the point of it is then is um, getting out of this equipment phase and into the into the performance phase. That's important. And also editing and you know so you need to be everything. You need to be the camera operator, the screenplay writer, the director, and the actor, and whatever else is involved. You need to play all the multiple roles uh, that go into making a YouTube video if you're doing this on your own. So where I am, I was working on the equipment for like a year and just trying to get better equipment all the time and learning new things. But the thing of it is you just need to work on, you know, your performance. So I'm going to turn this off now. All right.